couple of weeks ago I exchanged some uh, workshop stickers with Yates Workshop. I've been following it for a while. He's got some great YouTube videos and I've picked up quite a few tips and tricks from watching his activities. So I've started a brand new sticker board and Ed you're the first on my board. Taking a pride of place. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can head over and check out Ed's workshop. In today's video we're going to be looking at silver soldering the boiler barrel to the throat plate. First we've got a couple of jobs to do to the throat plate. I've made a jig to help drill the uh, holes for the support bracket uh, studs. So there are six holes to drill in this position. I've marked out a position lower down for two holes. I doubt you can see that on camera. So I've clamped this in position so we'll drill these six holes first. I'm just using a piece of wood. Wrong piece. Piece of wood to uh, give some support. So I'm drilling this for 7 BA. So these are clearance holes. And we reposition the jig. Okay, so in the lower position I'm just going to put uh, two studs in. Yeah, it's one side done. The sides of the throat plate are a little bit over long, so I'm just setting up in the horizontal mill uh, to, to trim them to length. I've got it marked with a scriber. Copper is very soft so you've got to be careful how you clamp it. I've got it support on a plate, I'm just checking the plate is up to the edge of the table. And I've got a scribed line on the copper, I'm just eyeballing that line with the plate. Clamping it down. And just take it in one cut. Just feed into the line. Just 
Tina gently. This is my setup for silver soldering the throat plate to the barrel. So I put it on the turntable. It's been fluxed. I've already placed some silver solder wire in place. And I filled the barrel with vermiculite broken bits of brick so I've got so I've got one two propane torches that I can use so we've got bucket of water in the fire extinguisher in case anything happens I've got plenty of gas so I've got a heat proof apron got my heat proof gloves some more silver solder Fingers crossed, we'll give it a bash and see if we can achieve this successfully. The throat plate is held in place by a few randomly placed rivets. These rivets are just loose placed and drilled holes. They're not actually closed up rivets. applying more silver solder. It's important to try and get the heat in the copper to melt the silver solder rather than the torch flame. Well that was pretty nerve-wracking. 
but it seems to be a good joint. Unfortunately one of the rivets had came away from its location so that will need to be plugged and fixed I think which is a shame but apart from that it looks a good joint I'm going to try and use the oxypropane to silver in a new rivet. First I'm using a propane torch to get some background heat. The oxypropane torch on its own won't provide enough heat to actually melt silver solder because the copper just soaks away the heat too quickly. So we silver solder in that rivet in that location seems to have gone okay.